there are different ways of describing the size of an angle. This video explains how to convert between them. Angles are commonly measured using either degrees or radians. If we're talking about degrees, then a full circle, by convention, is 360 degrees. A half circle, then, would be 180 degrees, and if I wanted to do, say, a third of a circle, that would be a third of 360 degrees or 120 degrees. If we're using radians instead, then going all the way around the circle is called 2 pi radians. The 2 pi was chosen because that's the circumference of a circle with radius of 1. A half circle is then half of 2 pi radians, which is pi radians. And if I wanted to do, say, a quarter of a circle, that would be a quarter of my 2 pi radians. A quarter of 2 pi is pi over 2. To convert between degrees and radians, it's handy to use the fact that 180 degrees corresponds to pi radians. Both of these represent half of a circle. Let's convert negative 135 degrees to radians. Now you might be wondering, what does a negative angle even mean? Well, by convention, if we go in the counterclockwise direction, that's considered a positive angle. And if we go in the clockwise direction, that's considered a negative angle. To convert negative 135 degrees to radians, I could multiply by pi radians per 180 degrees. Notice that the degrees cancel here, and I end up with negative 135 pi over 180 radians. That simplifies to negative 3 pi over 4 radians. Or if I convert pi to a decimal, that's negative 2.3562 radians up to four decimal places. But usually if the answer is a simple fraction times pi, it's better to leave it in that form rather than convert it to a decimal. I can also go the other direction and convert radians to degrees. Five pi over four radians now again, I need to use the fact that pi radians is 180 degrees, but if I write it like this, with radians on the top and degrees on the bottom, then the radians won't cancel. So that doesn't work. Instead, so instead I, have to I need to multiply by, by the reciprocal 180 degrees, 180 on the top degrees over pi radians, radians so that I can bottom. cancel the radians that and way be left the radians with degrees. cancel. And I get 5 pi times 180 over 4 pi degrees. Now the pi's also cancel, and this simplifies to 225 degrees. Converting 7 radians to degrees is similar. I need to multiply by 180 degrees over pi radians. If I work out 7 times 180 over pi on my calculator, I get 401.07 degrees up to two decimal places. Notice that my answer a little more than 400, is more than 360 degrees. So this is more than a full circle. That makes sense, since 7 radians is more than 2 pi radians, since pi is itself a little more than 3. Sometimes angles are given in terms of degrees, minutes, and seconds, as in 32 degrees, 17 minutes, and 25 seconds. A minute is defined as 1 60th of a degree. A second is defined as 1 60th of a minute. But since a minute is itself 1 60th of a degree, this is 1 60th of 1 60th of a degree, or 1 over 3600 of a degree. You can also think of this by saying that there are 60 minutes in 1 degree and there are 3,600 seconds in one degree. 
let's convert this number of degrees, minutes, and seconds to a decimal number of degrees. We know that we have 32 degrees plus 17 minutes plus 25 seconds. I'm going to copy down the 32 degrees, but I need to convert the minutes to degrees. I know that there's 60 minutes in one degree. If I want the units to cancel, I better put the degrees on the top. So one degree corresponds to 60 minutes. Similarly, if I want to convert seconds to degrees, 25 seconds, I know that there are 3,600 seconds in one degree. I want the degrees to end up on the top and I want the seconds on the bottom to cancel with the 25 seconds. So I need to write it this way. Okay, now I can write this as 32 degrees plus 17 over 60 degrees plus 25 over 3,600 degrees. And if, because the minutes canceled and the seconds canceled. If I add this all up on my calculator, I get 32.2903 degrees up to four decimal places. I can also go the other direction and convert a decimal number of degrees into degrees, minutes, and seconds. I'm starting out with 247 degrees plus a decimal number of degrees left over. If I want to convert 0 0.3486 degrees to minutes, well, I know that I have 60 minutes in one degree. This time I want the minutes on the top and the degrees on the bottom so that my degrees will cancel. So I just multiply my decimal by 60 and I end up with 20.916 minutes. Let me copy this down. And now I'm gonna take the 0 0.916 minutes and convert those to seconds. So I know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. So canceling my units again, I just multiply by 60, which gives me 54.96 minutes. I can copy this down as is, or I can round off my seconds and get 247 degrees, 20 minutes, and 55 seconds. Converting between different ways of measuring angles is all about unit conversion. To convert between radians and degrees, we use the fact that pi radians corresponds to 180 degrees. To convert between minutes and seconds and degrees, we use the fact that 60 minutes corresponds to one degree and 60 seconds corresponds to one minute.